On that early morning day on stage, I'll never forget her face. Who hasn't taken the easy way out in life at one point or another? I know that I have, and I don't believe any grown adult can say with surety that they've never taken the easy way out. But if you're like me and you have, this message is for you. When I was in the fifth grade, I'll never forget this, I was chosen to represent my fifth grade class. Fifth grade, it's a long time ago, but I was chosen to represent my fifth grade class in the math field day and Olympics. If you had anything like this at your elementary school, let me know in the comments. So I was asked to represent them in the math field day games and Olympics and when it was my turn, I went on stage and I was given a choice between an easy answer and a more complicated answer. Now, mind you, I was chosen to represent my fifth grade class due to my academic discipline. I was a high achieving student. I'm proud of that. And I love my teacher. And I can say with all honesty that my teacher loved me and I think she loved every one of her students the same. And I'll never forget her. Her name was Miss McMahon, the best fifth grade teacher a girl could ever have. And even today, as I embark on my doctorate journey, she's still the best teacher I've ever had in my entire life. And that says a lot about her character, a lot about her love for teaching and who she was. And she expected a lot from me and I think all of her students. She wanted us to be the best that we can be. And so she was a fabulous teacher and I haven't met many like her. I think that's why she's so unforgettable because she really cared about us and she wanted us to do our best. But on that early morning day on stage, I'll never forget her face, ever. When I was asked to choose between the two questions, the easier one and the more advanced one, I chose the easier question. And the disappointment on her face said more to me than her lips ever could because I took the easy way out. After all, she had chose me to represent the fifth grade class because she believed in me. She believed that I could answer any question, any mathematical equation, any riddle given to me. That's just how strong her belief was. She thought, and I honestly believe that she thought, if she didn't limit me, then I wouldn't limit myself. But she was wrong because I did. I chose the easy way out and although it was less rewarding, it was easier. I knew that I'd get the question right, first off, an easy question, I knew I'd conquer it. And in the process, I would minimize any chance of ridicule or disappointment. And I was wrong about that too, because I did experience disappointment, not only from my teacher and myself, but I think my fifth grade class, they were all rooting for me. They knew what I was capable of. They all believed in me. And here I am, I, I wasn't believing in myself. So I minimized my potential. Does that sound familiar? We tend to do that as grown adults today. We minimize our potential. We can have a whole army believing in us. Yes, you can do this, girl. You've got this. You know, I believe in you. And yet, when it comes to us believing in ourselves, it's non-existent. And that's a problem. And for me, throughout the remainder of my fifth grade year and even into high school, and I would be 
bold enough to say, even throughout college, I carried that fifth grade experience with me. That just shows the power of experience, the power of memories, how the, the impact, the stain that they can leave on our minds and in our hearts, you know, the memories, they're very powerful. But as I got older, I began to see life differently. I understood that putting another's expectations on a pedestal before my own was not mentally or emotionally healthy. And I think that's because when we put what others say or think about us before the thoughts about ourselves, we tend to disappoint not just them, we tend to disappoint ourselves in the process. And to me, that was a powerful lesson. Now, mind you, this is not an excuse to say, take the easy way out in life. It's just a powerful lesson that I learned on my journey throughout life. I was so disappointed in myself and I carried that disappointment with me and it has hindered me in life. It's like I had to play catch up. And if you can relate to this message, then I know that you understand. It's not a good experience to have to play catch up throughout your life. So I learned it was a very valuable lesson to me. It taught me not to put what other people think about me, their expectations of me before the thoughts that I have about myself or the expectations that I know that I'm willing to achieve in this life. So this is not an excuse. And I say that because most of the time, the easy route is not always the best route. In fact, it offers very little reward, if any. That reminds me of what Robert Frost said. And I think that he may have had an experience like this too, which is why he wrote this piece of poetry. He said, two roads diverged in a wood and I, I took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference. In other words, what Robert Frost was saying was, when we take the easy way out, we minimize our potential and we miss golden opportunities. As I said before, when we take the easy way out, the rewards are very slim and they leave us feeling depleted, making the road less traveled very appealing. I promise you I've been there, I've done that. And when we choose to persevere and to stay determined and to be committed to our life goals, we open the door to personal growth and fulfillment and so many unique opportunities that we wouldn't have if we continue to take the easy way out. And so this road, a route less traveled, allows us to leave, I would say, an impactful legacy. And it teaches us how to adapt to life's ever-changing landscapes. We, we tend to persevere, we stay determined, we're focused, we have grit, we're resilient, we're courageous, we're committed to doing the hard work that it takes to have a good, successful, and wholesome life. That's what it takes. And the easy route does not get us there. It's the road less traveled that's the roadmap to your success. That's what I've come to see. When we refuse to take the easy way out, we learn so many valuable lessons along the way that that road becomes a roadmap to our definition of success, not someone else's definition of success, but our own definition of success. And you, my friend, are worth it. You're worth taking the road less traveled because you're worth those golden opportunities. You're worth the open doors. You're worth the valuable lessons. Just understand that you are. And if you understand that you are, like I had to come to understand that I was worth taking the road less traveled, 
There's nothing wrong with taking the long way home. Change things up. And so when you get the chance to take the long way home, put away your map, buckle down and get moving because choosing this path leads to deeper satisfaction and greater life achievements and who doesn't want that it embodies perseverance and determination and all of those good things like i said before so take the long way home and when you do savor that moment so cheers my friend to the long way home. I had to learn this valuable lesson and I hope that it helps you in some way. I felt that it would, which is why I spoke on it today. Again, I'm an author and intellectual wellness expert or advocate, Katie Gates. Thanks so much for watching and I truly appreciate you, I really do. If you found this video valuable or if it helped you in some way, Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more life inspiring content. I promise you, you will not regret it. Again, many thanks to you, my friend, and much, much love. Until next time, bye-bye.